Hey, it's JP Brapper. In this segment of the Snowmobile Friendliness Series, brought to you by the world's best snowmobiling destination, we're going to talk Pillow Talk. How to make your accommodation the best experience possible for snowmobilers. And yes, the pillow plays an important role. Not in that way, people. Gone are the days of 30-year-old mattresses and your grandma's afghan. If you know what an afghan is, you're probably still riding a John Deere Spitfire. Today's snowmobiler likes plush and will pay for it. After all, they've invested heavily into their sport and aren't going to scrimp on a place to stay with their butts. It's real simple to make riders happy. Remember the pillow talk? Great pillows, and of course, a comfy bed are a no-brainer. But there's lots of other ways you can ensure the ultimate sledder slump. Yes, hooks. Do your rooms have lots of space for riders to hang and dry their gear? There's nothing worse than spreading gear on the floor or off old curtain rods. Place big hooks where things will dry. Easy peasy, balaclava squeezy. Can your staff speak snowmobile? If a rider walks in and says, Hey bud, I rocked some big KMs today and I'm stoked to rip tomorrow. Can you or your staff recommend a place to get some 93 Octane and good chow? Learn the lingo and understand what's around you. You'll be a sledder's best friend in no time. Make sure you have lots of good old paper trail maps. Riders love spreading them out over a cold beverage, telling lies, and planning the next day's route. Contact your local club, and they'll gladly drop some off. Do you have space for riders to lounge and chill with the crew? Snowmobilers are social creatures and like to be near others of the same kind, even those who ride Antarctica. Just kidding. This is a biggie, literally. Does your accommodation have monitored space for trucks and trailers to sit for a few days or longer? Can you let riders park near their room or under your canopy? Riders want to be close to their steeds. If they could bring them into the room, they would. Better yet, do you have indoor heated storage for sleds? There's nothing better for a four-stroke owner when it's minus 42 outside. Do you leave snow paths for sledders to travel on your property? Scraping down a bare pavement is sweet for the rubber tire set, but snow paths for sleds will show you really care. Do you support your local snowmobile club? Snowmobiling is big business and trails don't happen by themselves. These fine folks volunteer their time to maintain the trails and supporting them when they ask for donations or to buy trail signage or even something as simple as offering a conference room can go a long way. Want to take it a step further? Take a day to go flood ice crossings or cut some firewood for the warm-up shacks. Every little bit helps. I assume you have really great towels for the shower. Similar towels or rags are useful for riders to wipe off their helmets, machines, or even to replace a belt. A good rag is handy, and you don't want them using those good towels. Heck, put your logo on it and it becomes take-home memorabilia. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, I know, these are a ton of work. But there's nothing better after a 300 kilometer day. Sledders always bring a bathing suit, just in case. Sure, it gets weird with eight grown men in a six-person hot tub bragging to each other about what their gas mileage was that day. Regardless, a hot tub is winner-winner chicken dinner. Same as hot tub, but fits more people. Especially if you're riding with kids. Sledder never likes to gear up, ride down the road, and gear down for breakfast. They like to wander into your breakfast area in your long underwear and chow down on some frosted flakes, a cinnamon bun, and lots of good, strong coffee. This is a no-brainer. All Sledders want to immediately communicate with their spouse, who is stuck at home, as soon as they get settled into their room. You know, to recap the day, minute by minute. Use creative messaging and signage to show sledders that they are more than welcome to stay at your accommodation. Build custom messages, like my trusty subtitle assistance is showing you. Use your imagination and make them laugh. Have fun with it. <laughs> Make sure to use words like snowmobile friendly or welcome sledders on your website, travel networks, and search engine listings. When the crew is planning their trip from the garage in mid-July, make them remember you. Show them what Northern Ontario hospitality is all about. Or better yet, add the world's best snowmobile destination stamp of approval and make it easy on everyone. See, that was easy. So many ideas. Use your imagination to make an impression and have every sled guest sharing their experience over your wonderful Wi-Fi. Together we can truly make this the world's best snowmobile destination. Please check out other videos in this series that cover restaurants, communities, repair shops, and gas stations. Wrap on, people! What does brap even mean? That's easy. It means crack the throttle. Brap, brap, brap.